getting an understanding of in my spirit. Yeah. When I ran across the videos, yeah. GMS was kind of, it kind of resonated with me. Okay, you know what I'm okay. Saying? The same thing, because I was saying when I was getting, I was telling my family what I was receiving, and they thought I was just bugging out. Well, they gonna be like that. You know, like I was just fucking crazy or something. They gonna be like that because they don't see what you see. Yeah. Okay, hold what you got, and I'm gonna show it, I'm gonna show it to you. Oh, what you got, bro? Right there, remember that? And give me a uh, bonus 11 shot. Yeah, it's gonna be like that. When you come in, when you, when you start to see the reality of these scriptures, and you start trying to tell your folks, they gonna, it's like they got blinders on, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The scriptures tell you that. Which we gonna read, we gonna show you. Go ahead. Uh, Romans 11 and, uh, let's see. Start at seven. All right, this is, uh, Rome, this is uh, Romans chapter 11, verse 7. What then? Question. Israel has not obtained that which he's seeking for. I'm going to let him read it first so you can catch it. Then I'm going to break it down. I'm going to start back up and I'm going to break it down. But I want you to hear what he's saying first. Okay, go ahead. But the election has obtained it and the rest were blinded. Go ahead. It's at verse 8. According as it is written, the Most High has given them the spirit of slumber eyes that they should not see and ears that that they should not hear mm -hmm. unto this day mm -hmm. verse 9 and david said let the table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them mm -hmm. verse 10 let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their back away mm -hmm. verse 11 I say then, have they stumbled that they found fault? Question, the most high forbid, but rather through their false salvation has come unto the Gentiles for to provoke them to jealousy. All right, I'm going to break it down to you. This is Romans chapter 11, verse 7. Go ahead. What then? Question, Israel has not obtained that which he seeketh for. Because our people are always seeking for the truth. Sometimes they get into Islam, they go to these churches, they go to, uh, they get into Buddhism, they get into uh, 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 five percenters, they go through all these different philosophies in the world seeking the truth because our people want to know where they come from, who they are as a people, okay? And it says, read that again. It says, uh, Romans chapter 11, verse 7. What then, question, Israel has not obtained that which he seeketh for. They have not obtained that which they seeketh for. Going into the mother philosophy, which is the truth of who they are. Go ahead. But the election hath obtained it. But the election have obtained it. Meaning, the election have heard these scriptures and now they're getting into it and reading it. They say, oh, that's who we are. You see what I'm saying? They say, that's who we are, man. All that other stuff is crap, man. But this truth is in this, in this Bible. Go ahead. And the rest were blinded. And the rest were blinded. So you got our people and our family members still in the world looking for it. That's why they in the all them philosophy going to them churches and all that. That's why they still doing that. But you have seen them videos and was like, man, this is it. And then when you try to go talk to them, they still blind them. You see? Go ahead. So this is verse 8. According as it is written, mm -hmm. the Most High hath given them the spirit of slumber. So they sleep. They spiritually sleep. They ain't woke up. That's why they in all that other stuff. You see, going to them churches and whatever. They might be Masons. They might be in the Islam. All that other stuff. They sleep. That's why they still in it. They searching, but they ain't found it. You found it. Go ahead. Eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear. And even if you take the book to them and say, look, this is it, this, 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 and read them scriptures, they still can't see. Because the Most High got them blinded, man. He don't want them to see. But he allowed you to see. And by them not seeing that, they gonna look at you as man, his man is losing his mind. See? Why he getting into that? But they be claiming they're Christians though. Yeah. And say, and say, look, and you'll say, look, this is what the Bible is saying. They'd be like, nah, I don't know. Because they blinded. Yeah. You see? Go ahead. 
says, unto this day. Unto this day. Go ahead. Verse 9. And David said, let their table be a be made a snare and a trap mm -hmm. and a stumbling block mm -hmm. and a recompense unto them. Now, let's see what the table is. Give me, uh, what is that? Uh, Isaiah 30 and uh, 6. Isaiah 30 and 6. If it ain't 6, it might be 8. Yeah, okay, go ahead. All right, this is Isaiah chapter 30, verse 8. Let's find out what the table is. Go ahead. It says, Now go, write it before them in a table, mm -hmm. in a note. It says, And note it in a book. So the book is the table. Go ahead. That it may be for the time to come forever and ever. So we know what the table is. It's the book, the Bible. So go back to Romans 11 chapter and read that again so you can catch it. All right, this is... Uh, uh, verse uh, 9 it says uh, Romans chapter 11 verse 9 and David said let their table be a be made a snare mm -hmm. and a trap and a stumbling block okay now where did David say that at? give me Psalms uh, was it 69 and 22 okay so now we know what the table is right the Bible so like I said when you take it to them or you tell them something that you heard according to the scriptures they blinded man they're not going to they're not going to understand nothing you're saying because they still caught up in them philosophies. The Heavenly Father and His Son ain't woke them up to this truth. Yeah. But you are, but they sleep. And then truth to them, like I said, it's a stumbling block. Yeah, it's a stumbling block. It trips them up. It trips them up to where, uh, as I say, for instance, it's, it's, it's like they spiritually drunk. You know how when you drink too much, all you want to do is lay down. You don't want to be bothered. You just want to, uh, uh, in other words, you don't want to be bothered. You just won't to uh, uh, let that pass through, you know what I'm saying? You being drunk, you just want to, you know what I'm saying, to where you can sober up again. Well, our people are so drunk in them philosophies, when you take them, when you take the Bible to them, all they doing is looking at the Bible like this, like, man, I just want to go back to what I was into because this is too much for me. So they want to go back into that uh, worldly way of, like thinking that's the truth because yeah. they blinded man they so drunk concerning philosophies that they can't see it no matter what you do yeah. if it ain't the will of the heavenly father and his son to wake them up to see what you see i know i, I lost a lot hey that's what, that's, what that's what happens that's what happens that's what happens when you come in this truth bro Brother, that's, that hey, that's what happened now now coming around us and seeing us is like, man, yes, it's a comfort yeah. to hear other brothers talking like this. You know what I'm saying? And we read out the scriptures to show you that, hey, they blinded. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter what you did in the past for me, it don't even matter. When you bring this scripture to them, they gonna be like, man, this man crazy. Yeah. I don't even wanna be around them. Oh, here he come. You know what I'm yeah. saying? When they see you come, they go, oh, here he come. You know what I'm saying? They don't wanna be bothered with you no more. But they don't understand that you've been woken up. You ain't sleep no more. Yeah. But they still sleep. So you don't fit in with them no more. That's why they all scatter like roaches. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I mean, like I said, man, I was, I was praying and praying and praying. Fasting. Hey, right, that's the, and that's the spirit. So I, so I heard the truth. And it was, it was coming at me the same way. Yeah. The spirit. Yeah. So understanding it like that. Yeah. I broke it down to my wife because uh, I had you know, picked up a child with another one. Okay, okay. But I was kind of pushed to it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, I told her, I showed her the scripture. I was like, well, really, I didn't do nothing wrong. Nah. Because, you know, it's kind of lost for me. God's eyes. Yeah, but see, these saying? women, these women, our people been in this society for so long, they're not going to agree with it. No. You see? Our people are so far gone into this world to where they ain't gonna agree with what this Bible is saying. Yeah. You see it, they I'm don't. It, you see? And it was, I don't know, it's just like I said. Them well, women I emotional, man. Like, them women emotional, man. Oh, the scripture man, say. You, you dealing with a white woman and I had to go and check her and see it was like, no, we don't find out about right, the but, but this is the thing though. We can deal with anyone. We I, can I deal with anyone. Now see, people, people are trying to go, 
people are trying to people are trying to uh, go and say an uh, Israelite man cannot deal with a uh, uh, with a heathen woman. That's not so. That's not so yeah. Because look, uh, because look, when you go to Solomon, Solomon dealt with other uh, nations' women. Now people will say that's why the heavenly Father punished. Him. No, he punished him for that. He punished him because of Solomon. When he got older, he lost his wisdom. He lost his wisdom, and the women caused him to build them idols. Yeah. So that's when the heavenly Father got him. Okay, when he was in old, when he was in old age, and and he lost that wisdom, and the women influenced him to build them idols. That's why he got him. He didn't get him because of. Uh, he was having sex with them. Now, you can have uh, other women of the other nation, but they can't be on, uh, they got, they're on the lower stature. Yeah. They don't have the same privileges as a Negro Latino Native American woman. Okay? An uh, Edomite, so-called white person, or uh, Japanese, uh, Japanese, which is uh, uh, Ammon and Moab is Chinese. If you deal with them women, or them Hamite women over there in Africa, you know, so you still got our people over there, but you got them Hamites over there too. If you deal with them women, they like at a lower stature. You know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't have the same privileges as an Israelite woman, but they can be concubines. So that's what it is. You know, long, as long as uh, uh, if you put your seed in that woman and, that, and she had that baby, that's an Israelite baby. I know, I mean, I got a son, he look white. You know what I'm saying? But that's an Israelite. He's of your, he's of your lineage. He's an Israelite. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. You ain't got to show me. I believe you, brother. I know what it is. You all, know what I'm saying? All five of them. See? See? It's See? It's See? It's See? It's you know what I'm saying? But that's what it is. But they Israelites. Israelite. They Israelites. You see? But like the scripture say, our people are scattered amongst all these other nations. When you read James, the first chapter, you got our people looking like the Chinese, like them Africans over there. You got our people looking like so-called white people. But, but they Israelites, you know what I'm saying? And that's what the Heavenly Father and His Son is looking at. Okay, what's your bloodline? Is your bloodline going back to the Israelites? Well, then you're an Israelite. He, what these people can't grasp in, in this world and in America is the fact that Israel see bloodline can look like anybody. You know what I'm saying? That's what the masses of these people can't grasp, man. Everybody come to they compromise, you see, because of these false philosophies that's in the world. But when you wake up to this truth, you see the reality of what it truly is. But as long as you in the world and in them different philosophies, you ain't gonna get no understanding of what, how things really are, the reality, uh, and how the heavenly father and the son think, because your thoughts are in these scriptures. And you have to have a teacher in order for you to understand this and your eye got to be opened by the heavenly father and the son. That's why you was clinging to GMF. Yeah. You see? Because they breaking down things that that resonate in your spirit according to the scriptures. Yeah. You see? Go ahead, bro. We got Psalms uh, uh, 69. Yeah, 22. 22. Yeah. Alright, this is uh, Psalms chapter 69 verse 22. Go ahead. Let their table become a snare. See? Let that table, meaning the Bible, become a trap. That's what a snare is, it's a trap. So when they go up in here and try to get some understanding of it, it's gonna trip them up. And they ain't gonna see what the scriptures is truly talking about. They'll be cut by it. They'll be cut by it too, but they ain't gonna truly have an understanding of it because what it is is, it's tripping them up. They either, they blinded. Okay, the Heavenly Father got them blinded to what they can't see. Go ahead. So let their tables become a snare before them. Mm -hmm that which should have been for their welf welfare. When you deal with that world welfare, it's basically like you being a friend to the Heavenly Father and His Son. So by you understanding these scriptures, you have become a friend to the Heavenly Father and His Son. If you don't understand them, you ain't no friend of them. That's how cold it is. See? And when you get in these scriptures, the deeper you get into it, you see how far our people are gone concerning believing in the Heavenly Father and His Son. They actors. They say they believe, but they truly don't. You see? Go ahead. It says, let it become a trap. Yeah, let it become a trap. So, since they don't understand this word, it's a trap unto them. In other words, it's going to uh, condemn them. In other words, give them destroyed if they ain't a friend of the Heavenly Father and the Son. 
See? Go ahead. Verse 23. Let their eyes be darkened mm -hmm. that they see not. See? And make their loins continually to shake. Shake, meaning scared. That's why when it comes to uh that's why when it comes to embracing your nationality and knowing who you are, uh we not scared to say that. But they, our people don't know what the hell going on. They they scatter, they scatter all these days. They don't even know who the hell they are, man. You see what I'm saying? They don't even know, man. They just shook up, man. You see? And they looking for help, but all they getting is shaking on their knees, man. They're scared, man. Just like when you watch uh uh What's going on in the news, how you need to go like, you know, Native American getting shot down. They getting programmed to fear, man. They getting programmed to fear because that's what's going to happen in the future concerning martial law. They're going to all be scared, man, because they mean, used to seeing what they're seeing on TV and shook up and scared, man. But we see that and we like that judgment. We ain't, we ain't, we don't fear that. We know the Heavenly Father and Son control everything, man. So they always going to be in fear when they outside of this truth, man. When they don't know who they are, according to the Bible, man. they don't be in fear. Read that again. This is, uh, Psalm 6, uh, chapter 69, verse 23. Go ahead. Let their eyes be darkened, that they see not, and make their loins continually to shake. Yeah, go ahead. Pour out thy, thine indignation upon them. So, indignation meaning righteous anger. So, when the Most High uses these heathens to judge uh, two-thirds of our own people, that's what falls upon them, fear. You see? Because they don't know who they are. It's all about getting in these scriptures and understanding who you are and who the Heavenly Father and the Son is, who your power is. And your protection. You. You're going to go through certain things because that's the trial that you have to go through when you get this wisdom. You see? That's what it is. But you go through it, you go through it not to suffer the great judgment, which is what? Thermonuclear destruction. You don't want to burn in that. See, these things that, that we go through, losing our family, losing job, not having money, doing all, going, all, going through all those things right there, being separated from your family, those are trials that you go through when you're in this truth. So it's to refine you and make you stronger to where you would depend on the Heavenly Father and Son even more, okay? but. He's doing that to make you perfect, to make you to where you will call upon him even more. That's what it's all about, calling upon Yahweh Shemel Shah when you're going through those things. So when uh, when he bring this great judgment, which is thermonuclear destruction, you gonna be called upon Yahweh Shemel Shah to get out of the condition. These people just gonna get burnt. That's what it is. You see? And it's trial that you gotta go through. As a man, this is the, this is the, I can say this right here, like I always tell him, this is the uh, this is the greatest warfare that you can ever be in. Spiritual, Spiritual warfare, man. This is the greatest one, man. You see, I mean, you might box and whoop people and do all that and all this, but this thing right here, what you in, what you seeing, this is the greatest warfare, man. And guess, guess who, guess who is your worst enemy? You. See, you are your worst enemy, man, in this warfare, man. See that? Your flesh constantly fighting, trying to fight your spirit. Yeah, you want to do right, but your flesh is having you do other things. It's a war, man. Like the elder, elder possible bar always yeah. says, uh, you know, it's, it's not like the mob. Like the mob, in the mob, you can run away and hide, and you know, saying as long as you keep silence, they won't fuck with you. Yeah. But this type of warfare, man, you can't run away from you yourself. Can't run it. You can't run away from yourself, man. And some days you be low, and some days you be up. You know what I'm saying? But that's the most high. Y'all about to know shot, sending through you, sending you through them fiery trials and refining you so you can call up on them and trust in them, man. And not yourself. See? Go ahead. It says, and let thy wrathful anger take hold of thee. See? So if you can't see these scriptures, right? The wrath of the Most High is going to take hold of you. And he's going to use these other nations to tear, tear you up. And that's why you see the nigga like you know the Native American getting treated the way they get treated by these police officers getting their ass shot off. It's the wrath, it's the anger of the Most High. Because they don't, they don't apply these scriptures. They don't do what they're supposed to do. See? 
Now go back to Romans. In the uh, 11th chapter. Uh, Start at 7 again. Okay. This is uh, Romans chapter 11 verse 7. Right. What then? Question. Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for. Which is the truth. Go ahead. But the election had obtained it. The elect had went up in here to search the scriptures to hit the mark and understand who they are as an individual. We know we the Israelites. Right? We know our power is Yahweh Shemel Shai. Alright? Go ahead. And the rest were blinded. Two thirds of our people blinded. They ain't gonna see it. Go ahead. It says verse 8. According as it is written, the Most High has given them the spirit of slumber. Mm -hmm. Eyes that they should not see. So they spiritually sleep. Go ahead. And ears that they should not hear. Go ahead. Unto this day. Unto this day. So the words, when you read out these scriptures, they ain't gonna hear you. Go ahead. Verse 9. And David said, Let their table be made a snare. Which, like we're reading in Psalm uh, 69, 22 on down, this David sent up a curse to where if you don't get this, you're not a friend of the Most High. And his anger is going to be upon you to destroy you. Go ahead. And a trap, and a stumbling block, Go ahead. and a recompense unto them. See? Payback upon their own head. Go ahead. Let their eyes be darkened mm -hmm. that they may not see mm -hmm. and bow down their back away. So they ain't going to be upright. They ain't going to apply the scriptures like they're supposed to. They're going to be all in the wickedness and get their ass destroyed. See? So... Going back to what you were saying concerning people you know that's around you, when you bring those scriptures to them, they, don't, they say you're crazy and they don't understand what you're saying because the Heavenly Father got them like that. 